David Carrick's crimes were unspeakably evil. Um, the treatments that he subjected his victims and the survivors to was truly, truly degrading and inhumane. Their courage has been extraordinary in um, coming forward and um, helping today him be brought to justice. Their courage is admirable, but we, um, we in policing have failed. Uh, he should not have been a police officer. There were many signs that we should have joined together. He should have been rooted out during his career as a police officer. Um, it's upsetting to be stood here talking about this, um, and I apologise again to the victims, and indeed I apologise to the women of London, many of whom I'm sure will be um, troubled and um, their trust in policing will be shaken by, shaken by these events. We recognise as police officers that we have a big task ahead if we're to regain that trust. Um, I have tens of thousands of colleagues, men and women, who really care about policing London and recognise the scale of that challenge and what needs to be done. I've been really clear from day one as Commissioner four months ago that one of the challenges for me was to root out those that corrupt the integrity of the Metropolitan Police. And this case and others like it illustrate that challenge. Today is not a day for going through action plans. Um, today is a day for reflection and apologising to victims. But I have been very clear, we will update at the end of March with the progress that we've made as we go step by step to tackle these issues and remove those that shouldn't be, shouldn't be serving as police officers. We won't resolve this overnight, but as we lift the stones and deal with what's underneath it, you will see progress month by month, quarter by quarter. Uh, I finish where I started. Uh, I apologise to the women of London. I um, repeat my admiration for the women who came forward and I promise the people of London um, we will do better and we will give you the police service you deserve. You've, I think it's just going to take two or three questions. You've spoken about trying to get the integrity back of the Met, but after harbouring this monster in your midst for so long, aren't you worried that women are never going to trust the Met again? People are going to be very shaken by this. I, I, I completely recognise that. We are determined to tackle this. Most of our people are great people, but we've been too weak at getting rid of the ones who aren't. So you're going to see month by month changes as we remove those individuals. And you can report on that. I know my words today aren't enough. People have heard me talk about plans and they're going to want to see the action that we take over forthcoming months and they will see that. Um, so Mark, people will have heard how this man behaved in his life and they'll find it difficult to grasp that it, that wasn't known among police officers. And the fact that he also used his role in his offending and he's not the first, how confident are you that you can make it that people aren't going to weaponise the uniform and use it for offending? There are, systemic <clears throat> there are systemic failings in this case. Um, we had opportunities where, where warning signs were seen by the Met, um, reports, um, allegations, and we didn't follow through on those, and that's why he was still a police officer when he shouldn't have been. So we have to repair those systemic failings. That's about leadership, that's about culture, that's about standards, all things that we're going to deal with. As I said, I understand that people's confidence will be shaken, but I absolutely promise that we will rebuild it. We are determined to do that, both myself and the tens of thousands of good men and women who are equally horrified about these ghastly offences. So Mark, you, you've apologised, you said it's very upsetting. Do you sense these issues are unique within the Metropolitan Police? You've led other police forces. Are they a chief constable saying they have similar issues? And indeed, is it time for a complete rebrand of the Metropolitan Police image? So I, I think this is an issue Sadly, misogyny is an issue across society. Um, policing needs to be the best because we enforce the law. We have no excuse other than having the best standards and we've clearly failed in this regard. I know there are other chief constables out there who are, uh, who are grabbing hold of the same issue and confronting similar problems in their forces. I'm not sure everyone's grabbed it yet, but I know many colleagues are doing that, as indeed other institutions are facing up to it. So there's a lot to do, but as I say, I can just repeat my determination to Londoners that you will see results as we take on those 
who have undermined the bond of trust between the police of London and our communities. And as we strengthen our community policing, as we deal better with violence against women and girls, you will see a change that rebuilds that shaken trust.